and I've agreed with the Metropolitan Archbishop, when you look at his size and mind, that mine is going to be concise. <laughs> Concentrated, apparently is the word. <laughs> Eminent clergy, first lady, representative of the Speaker of Parliament, representative of the Chief Justice, members of the Council of State, the Chief of Staff and the Office of the President, ministers, deputy ministers of state and members of parliament, and leaders and members of the security services, the chairperson and members of the board of trustees of the National Cathedral Project, Ni Usu Alatamanche, vice president of the Usu Traditional Council and other traditional rulers, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen, the process for the construction of the National Cathedral began with my announcement on 6th March 2017, our 60th independence anniversary. The following year in March 2018, on our 61st independence anniversary, I unveiled the compelling design by David A. J. for the cathedral. On the eve of our nation's 63rd anniversary on 5th March 2020, I was here at the groundbreaking ceremony signaling the commencement of the construction of the National Cathedral. And today, 2nd January 2022, I'm here at the site, 2023, please excuse me, going one year back. I'm here at the site to join you to climax the Bible reading marathon and to partake in the celebration of the laying of the foundation for the National Cathedral. We're getting close. I want to express my deep appreciation to the members of the Board of Trustees, constituted by prominent Christian leaders of our nation, with the former chairperson of the Church of Pentecost, the highly respected apostle, Professor Opuku Nina, as his chair, who have taken it upon themselves the responsibility of shepherding the project to completion. In so saying, we will remember today with love and reverence the pioneer chairperson of the board, the Right Reverend Asante Entry, who has gone to meet his maker after a lifetime of devoted service. I thank the brilliant, globally acclaimed Ghanaian architect, David Ajay, for his design and services. And I thank the executive director of the Cathedral Secretariat, Dr. Lupoku Mensa, for his tireless work and for the lucid presentation he has made to us today on the status of the project. As I indicated on 6th March 2017, upon completion, the National Cathedral is certainly going to be one of the iconic structures of the African continent. Ladies and gentlemen, the reasons for my decision to mobilize support for the construction of the National Cathedral remain unchanged. Firstly, since gaining our freedom and independence from the British colonial power on 6th March 1957, Ghana has so far been spared civil war, famine, and epidemics. We're certainly no better than the other nations in our neighborhood who have been confronted with these challenges. But I believe that it is by the grace of God that we have been prepared, preserved, and sustained. And the construction of the National Cathedral is an act of thanksgiving to the Almighty for his blessings, favor, grace, and mercies on our nation. Secondly, at least 71% of the Ghanaian people adhere to the Christian religion. Grouped under the various persuasions of the Christian faith, the interdominational national cathedral will help unify the Christian community and thereby help promote national unity and social cohesion. 
the Supreme Court, the apex court of the Republic, unanimously rejecting a challenge to the constitutionality of the cathedral project, laid particular emphasis on this point in granting approval for the development of this project. Thirdly, on a personal note, I made a pledge to Almighty God that if he was gracious enough to grant my party, the new Patriotic Party and I, victory in the 2016 election after two unsuccessful attempts, I will help build the cathedral to his glory and honor. And I'm determined, with your support, to redeem this pledge. As I have said before, the National Cathedral will not just be another national monument adorning the skyline of Accra. It will be the rallying point for the entire Christian community to come together and worship, to pray and to promote deep conversations on the role of faith in building Mother Ghana. It will house a Bible museum, and it will be an iconic infrastructure for national conversations and international programmage and tourism. I'm grateful for the presence of our, our kith and kin, our brother from the diaspora, who has joined us on this occasion. It will be a monument to religious liberty and its construction deserves the full support of the nation. Just as God pro prospered Nehemiah to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, I am prayful that he will prosper us and make us succeed in our endeavor. Amen. I'm therefore committed to working with the Board of Trustees to ensure the completion of this project to the glory of God and the edification of our nation and all our people. I'm grateful, very grateful, to all of you for your presence here. May the God of heaven strengthen our hand on us as we rise to build the cathedral to his glory. And may he continue to bless us all in our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention, and I end by making a donation of 100,000 CDs to the project. and hope that the Metropolitan Archbishop is satisfied about the concentrated nature of my presentation. Thank you.